Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this fine winter queen necklace. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting and in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member because a lot of work goes in these videos and you will see the membership perks at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 6 beads in white color, 8 beads in silver color, 3 colors of 11 seed beads, white, silver and blue. Here I'm also using chains and jump rings, but if you don't have chains, you could replace them with just a beaded chain. Just write in Google how to make a simple beaded chain and you could replace this with uh, such a chain. Here I'm using nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12. The smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use to attach my jump rings and my clasp to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful 6-0 beads and I'm going to slide those down. And I'm going through them one more time. And now what I want to do is to make a knot here. I'm making a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. And I'm pulling. And then I'm making one more knot here. Now this is what I have and then I go through the following bead. Now I'm going to take one silver bead and I'm going in the next bead. Then again one silver, I go in the next one and I will repeat it. Okay, my friends, in my next step, I'm going through this silver bead and I'm taking five blue beads. Okay, and as I'm exiting from one of the silvers, I go in the other silver. I take five beads again. And I go in the next silver. K5. And now this is what I have. Now I go through two blue beads and I take three beads and now I'm not going through this blue here. I'm skipping it and I'm going through the next blue. So I'm just skipping the central bead that I have here. And I take three silver beads this time and I don't go here through the first blue bead, but I go through the second blue. Three white beads again, skip the central one and go through the following. Three silver beads, 
skip the center and go through the following. I mean skip one blue and go through the following. Then I take three white beads, skip the central blue and go through the following. Three silver, skip the first blue and go through the second blue. Then three white beads, skip the central bead here that's on my way and go through the next blue and then three more silver beads. Okay, now I have this. Then I need to make another row and in order to do this I'm going through all of those beads and my goal is to exit out of this silver bead. Take three white beads, skip the central silver and go through the following. Then I will repeat this two more times. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And in my next step, I want to go here through this silver bead. And after that, through the next two whites. In this way, I'm exiting from this white bead. And now what I want to do is to cut this tail thread. Now my friends, I'm going to make another element absolutely the same as this one and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I repeated all of those steps, this is what I have. I have two absolutely the same elements and I exit from the same place in both of them. Okay, so now I'm taking this one and what I want to do here is to take five of those beautiful white beads. And I want to go back like this and make something like a loop of beads. Why I'm making it? Because here I'm going to attach my jump ring and my chain. Okay, and after I reinforce here. What I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make here a loop, go twice through the loop I've made, pulling. Then I go through some beads in this direction. Okay, this is what I have now. Okay, my friends, then I take the next element that I have and I want to attach it to this element in this direction, to the opposite bit of where my loop is. And how I do this, I take one seed bead, one silver seed bead. And as I'm exiting from this white here, I go in the opposite white. Then I take one more bit and I go back like this. And then I reinforce.
Okay, and after I reinforce, again, what I want to do is to find a place to make a knot. Let's say I'm making it here. Making a loop going twice through the loop I've made. Pulling. Then I go through one or two beads after my knot and I cut this tail thread. Okay. Okay, my friends, and what I'm doing next is that I'm making another element like this one. You see, I have it here. And you see, I'm exiting out of the same place through the central white, which is next to the silvers. Don't go here uh, at the white which is next to the blue beads, but uh, at the white which is next to the silvers. Okay, and attach it this way, the same way I showed you. Don't attach it this way, because it won't. Uh, they won't be turned in one direction, but attach it this way. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I attached the third bead. And I want to repeat the whole thing, guys, one more time. So I want to repeat absolutely the same three elements connected in absolutely the same way with a loop here. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat all of those steps up to here. Okay, my friends, and when I repeated this process one more time, this is what I have. I have absolutely the same elements here. By the way, if you put here earring findings, you could make beautiful earrings, long and beautiful. Okay, so now what, how I turn this into a necklace, okay? Uh, it will be a V-shaped necklace. I just make another element like the ones I did before. What I want to do is connect it this part will be connected to this element and this part will be connected to this element. Okay, and how I do this, you see I'm exiting here out of this white bead, which is next to the silvers, but what I want to do in this case is to exit from the white, which is next to the blue beads here. From this white, okay. And what I want to do is to take one of my sequence of three elements, okay, and I take one silver, I go here in this white, then I take another silver, and I go here backwards through this white okay and then I'm going to reinforce this joint here This is what I have. Then I'm going to take the other part here and I'm taking one silver bead and I do absolutely the same thing. <laughs> Okay. 
now it's time to make a knot and cut my thread making a loop going twice through the loop I've made pulling going through some beads in this direction and cutting okay now guys the center of my necklace is ready and uh, it's time to attach my chains here okay my friends and here I have a chain I attach the clasp to it from this side and here what I want to do is attach another jump ring how I do this I open this one up then I take the jump ring and put it on my chain after that guys I want to take this loop of beads here and put it on my jump ring and I'm going to squeeze back okay then I will take uh, the other part of my chain the other chain that I used I will attach it the same way here with another jump ring and I'll be back okay my friends and now i have my fine snow queen necklace ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired open also check description for useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see them and you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching